What's good, Gray Gang? I'm out here today, and we're gonna try to train Lucky a little bit. But first, let me show you this squirrel I got. Now, you may be asking, like, hey, Kendall, why didn't you at least, you know, show the footage of the hunt and whenever you killed the squirrel? Well, if I had to be completely honest with you, people, I didn't kill this squirrel. My mom did, and she didn't even use a gun. She used a stinking Lexus. Like, bro, what is that even? But here is the thing that really made me, you know, not very happy, okay? She didn't even tell me about it. Now, is it really her responsibility to tell me whether she ran over a squirrel or not? Well, not really, but I'd still like to know. But what I had to do is go out in my driveway and figure it out myself. And I was like, bro. There's a dead squirrel on the on the road. Like, what is that? But anyways, I figured I had two options. One, skin it up and eat it. Or two, drag it around the ground a little bit and try to train Lucky. As of right now, we're going to go with the second option. However, once we get done with Lucky, I still may skin it. I don't know. But anyways, here's the plan. I'm going to take this squirrel out here, drag it on the ground in some kind of zigzag pattern, and then hang it up in a tree. And then I'm going to bring Lucky back here, see if she can get the scent trail, and maybe even tree this squirrel. That's the plan anyways. But we're going to do a really good simulation. Let's just say that, you know, the squirrel came out of here. So we're just going to rub the scent around, get it all good and scent it up. The squirrel came down this log. We'll get the scent. We'll wipe the scent on there. Get it as good as possible. So she came down the log. She it sat up here for a second. Eat that piece of corn. But anyway, she came down this log. Moved on around. Walked walked this trail right here. Right at these sticks. On down. Followed this stick. On around. On around. Came up through here. Right over here. On over to here. Walked around this tree right here. And then it came up this tree right here. And decided to stick its play right here. And that's where the squirrel's gonna end. And so now I've set up the squirrel and everything. I mean, hey. I'd shoot it if I saw that thing. Now, obviously, the plan is that, look, you'll come down that road right here, get the scent right through here somewhere, and then track it all the way down, and hopefully tree it like the squirrels right there. That's the plan. But now that we've put the squirrel up in the tree and got the scent everywhere, we're gonna go back, get lucky, bring her out here. If she'll tree it, like, that's best case scenario. If she'll tree it, I may even give her the squirrel. I don't know yet. But first, she's gotta tree that squirrel. Let's go, Lucky. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go find me a squirrel, Lucky. Go find me a squirrel. Let's go, Lucky. Let's go. Let's get up here. Let's get up here. I will say, I think I fed Lucky like a little bit too much food yesterday. And I mean like, she can't even move today. Look at her. She looks like she ate a basketball. But anyways, let's go, Lucky. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm about positive. I may have fed her a little bit too much, which I put it in a feeder. So she should have just, you know, rationed it out a little bit. Let's get it, Lucky. Let's get it. She's barely moving. I may have killed her. I don't know. Let's get it, Lucky. Find that scent. Let's find the scent. Put your head down and start sniffing. Start sniffing. There she goes. Which, I mean, now I'm not gonna get mad at her for that because once I came back here and put the squirrel up, I actually did see a squirrel and it bolted right through there. So she may be getting on that scent. And I mean, there is plenty of squirrels in this area. So she could honestly, if she wanted to, she could honestly tree an actual squirrel and, you know, do perfectly fine. But there is quite a few squirrels in this area. Okay, there she goes. She may be getting onto it right now. She smells it. She winded it. You smell it? Okay, she's getting right in there where she needs to be. Okay, okay, she's following the scent. She's following the scent. She's following the scent. She got it. She got it. She got it. She found it. She got it. Good job, Lucky. Did you find me a squirrel? Lucky, did you find me a squirrel? Bark at it. <laughs> okay, she has not actually saw the squirrel yet. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look up. Look up. Look up. Did you find it? Did you find a squirrel? Lucky, what are you doing? Go tree the thing. Go tree it, Lucky. Good job, Lucky. Good job. Find that squirrel. Honestly, don't. Lucky, look at this. <laughs> Bark at it, Lucky. Bark at it. Bark at it. Bark at it, Lucky. What are you doing? If you bark at it, it may come down. Doubt it, though. Bark at it, Lucky. Bark at it. Bark at it. Bark, 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 bark. Good job. Good job, Lucky. Tree the squirrel. Tree the squirrel. You're a good squirrel dog. If you'll bark. Okay, guys, so off camera, you know, Lucky's not barked at it yet, which I really did. I got her really excited. I've, I've heard this from a lot of people that what you should do, especially with feist, because feist are, you know, good for this little technique. I'm going to cut open the guts. Let her eat the guts. What can it hurt? We're going to give it a try, ain't we, Lucky? Looky here, Lucky. You just got you a squirrel. I got you a squirrel. And we're going to reward her for this squirrel. So I'm just going to prop up the camera as good as I can right there. And we're going to cut open this squirrel and give Lucky the guts. See what she thinks about him. Yes, Lucky. 
Don't worry, you're gonna get your reward right here in a second. Skittle, eat them guts, Lucky. That's your squirrel. You, 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 you get rewarded by those. Eat them. You worked hard, you tracked the squirrel, and you even treat the squirrel. So eat them guts. That's your reward for this. Just don't eat the meat. You can have the guts if I can have the meat. And like I was saying, guys, like I fed her a lot last night. Look at that belly. Oh my gosh, you're so fat, Lucky. You're so fat. What are you, a cow? She literally looks like a pig right now. But like last night, I filled up her feeder, which is, you know, supposed to last a dog a good week because the food just keeps coming like i usually feed them one extra large cup from like taco bell then i fed her four and she ate it all in one night lucky come on i know you're probably not hungry but hey you still deserve them eat it up sheba i mean Okay, guys, well, it actually turns out we're going to get to skin this squirrel anyhow. I mean, Lucky, I figured maybe Lucky would tear it up, but she actually didn't, and it's still in really good shape, and you know what? Hey, we're going to slice and dice this and go with the first option, too, which means we're going to skin it and eat it. Now, if you think about it, one, we're getting meat out of this thing, and two, we got a good training session with Lucky. What more could you ask for? And the good thing about Mom running it over with her car is, one, I don't have to use bullets, which, I, which I'm running low on them and don't have many of them anyways, and two, I didn't have to use my skills which i don't have much of those either but anyways we are going to slit this guy right down the back and just take the meat off just like i do all my squirrels and so here we go we've already gutted this squirrel so i may actually do a full body you know skin i usually never do a full body skin just because I usually shoot them up so bad because I'm usually using a shotgun. But since mom ran this one over, there's really no like damage done to the meat. I mean, she she basically flattened his head. But besides that, the meat is good. So I believe what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a full body skin. And well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll see by the end. It's actually very awesome. And I'd really like to start doing it more. The only problem is, like I said, I, sh I usually shoot them up really bad whenever I'm using a shotgun. However, whenever I start hunting with a 22 and headshotting them only, then I'll start getting into, you know, doing the full body skins again and so what did i mean by a full body skin this is what i mean by a full body skin usually i quarter them out you know get the two front legs and the two back legs and every now and again i'll get the back strap and each one of those parts will be severed and you know just in leg form this way like i said it's a full body skin the whole body is still intact the only thing now is that all the skin's gone the head's gone the feet are gone and the tail's gone because you can't eat those parts except mammy does like the squirrel brains but we're not going to get into that okay I ain't about to do that. But I mean, yeah, now all you gotta do this is just, you know, cut it up into a few pieces and drop it in the fryer just like that. And so now with this squirrel, we're done with this squirrel. We're I'm gonna go ahead, put this in the refrigerator, put it in the freezer, and hey, we're about to move on to something, you know, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do something pretty awesome. I promise. Okay, guys, right now we're out here. We got the air gun here. We're gonna be shooting a few targets, okay? We got this Mountain Dew can, that Mountain Dew can, and then we're gonna try to, you know, get a little pattern on that little Pepsi box. Now, the reason we're out here shooting the air gun today is one, it's fun to shoot, and two, we're actually here in a week or two, we're going to be doing some massive upgrades to this thing. So right now, what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to get a little shooting test, get a little shooting in when the gun's still stocked. That way, you know, we can sort of compare it later, you know, whenever we do the upgrade. And those upgrades, they're going to be pretty good, too. They're going to set us up for killing squirrels like nobody's business. Okay, guys, so right now, what we're going to do is that uh, Pepsi box right there, we're going to put five shots in it directly in the center and see our groupings. Then after that, we'll go check it. Then we're going to knock down those two pop cans. That's the plan. That's the plan. Can't feel my fingers. That is the plan. Here we go. First shot seemed pretty good. Let's see how the second one goes. And here we go for the last shot on that box. Okay, let's go see how we done. I will say one thing right there. Right there on the fourth shot, whenever I was pumping it up, I did sort of clip my finger. And it hurts pretty bad. Okay, so here's our, um, uh, here's our groupings, okay? So, um, uh, well, we got three on the box. Tally-ho. Or actually, here's our five shots. We got one, two, three... Then four right here, and then five right there. That's honestly awful, okay? That's legit pretty bad, guys. We ain't gonna kill nothing like that. But we are gonna shoot those pop cans, see if that's any different, and then, you know, we might get to do some upgrades. Because those upgrades, I will say one thing. I'm 100% sure those upgrades will help. But anyways, guys, right now we're going for that pop can right there. Here we go. See? I don't know what's happening. I got that one first try. But now we're gonna go for that pop can right there. Let's hit it. See, I hit it first try too. I'm gonna hit it again, cause it didn't fall over. And boom, just like that. 
I hit it again. A doubt. But anyways, let's take a closer look at these. Well, yeah, I mean, I hit them exactly where I want to. Right here's that first one. I grazed it right here on the side, and then I hit it direct hit right there. And it's even cool because you can actually look back here in the pallet, and that right there, that's one of the pellets that went straight through it and, you know, hit it right there. So that right there, that is a... Uh, well, that's actually my pellet in here. Let's look at that other pop can, because I believe I hit it real good. Yeah, I mean, I hit it perfectly. That's a headshot. It was sitting right there. I was aiming right there. Boom, diggly. Knocked it off, no problem. But anyways, guys, that right there, that's without any upgrades at all. And like I did say, we're going to be upgrading that air gun right there. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a squirrel killing machine, my boys. Okay, and so, you know, today is Saturday. And on Saturdays, I do a verse of the week and then, you know, tell about it. So, guess what? Now's that time. This week's message is called pressure points and it goes along you know if you're sort of stressed out and you got a lot going on let me tell you what's happening so you may feel like everything's down on you and that you got a lot of duties to do which you may do and like it can get down on you i know whenever you got so many things you gotta be doing and it's just like they all need done at the same time like that's a lot of pressure but there's one thing to remember with great privilege comes great pressure so actually the more pressure you have that just means that the more privileged you are but right here is where the verse of the week comes in now it's second corinthians 4 8 we were pressed on every side but we were not crushed perplexed but not despair or something like that. I honestly can't even read the last word I wrote. But it's something like that, okay? But what that verse is saying is that these people right here, the verse that, you know, the people that the verse is talking about, they were, they were getting, like, pressed on so many sides. They were so pressured. However, it very clearly said, but we were not crushed. And the reason they were not crushed is because God didn't let them be crushed. Now, yeah, God won't let the pressure crush you and kill you. However, he will definitely put the pressure on you and allow as much pressure as possible to get right on you. The reason for that, the reason God allows pressure in your life is so that you will realize that you cannot sustain it. You cannot, you know, you can't handle it on your own. He puts big obstacles in your life so that you will realize that you have to have have him to get through them. And we all know it. Life on our own, that is almost impossible. However, when you pull God down and bring him into your life and like keep him into your daily routine, that is when God will take care of the pressure. You just go on through the paved path. God has done paved for you. You let God and Jesus, sort of the same thing, but you know, you let them take care of the pressure, okay? Because they're like pressure cookers. They can cook the pressure right out of beans. So just a real quick recap, if you have a lot of pressure in your life right now, just have faith in God and let God take care of all the pressure. Because whenever you start letting God take care of all your problems, your life gets a whole lot easier and the pressure becomes, you know, uplifted, I guess. But anyways, guys, I just want to know, like, did this, did this help you at all? Did you understand this or am I just, like, going too much crazy talk? If you only do one more thing for the whole day, please just go tell me in the comments. And while you're at it... Hey, hit the like button. We need to get a bunch of likes. Why? Because my mom stinking killed a squirrel today. That doesn't happen often, people. Smash the like button and tell me something awesome in the comments. I'll see you later, Grey Gang. Whoop. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrade1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.